All right, here we go. This one is going to be a 357 SIG test. Today we have the Hornady Custom 147 grain XTP. That's what this one looks like. It is, it is pretty uh, heavy for caliber. And uh, usually when we test it in the jugs, we get quite a bit of penetration. So looks like we do have just enough room left in this block. So we're going to see if we can catch one. We are going to be going through our Glock 31 that is a full size, full length, four and a half inch barrel. And through our gel is a 10% block. We do have our jug backstop just in case we do get that pass through, which I'm sure we will. And our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. So like always, we'll set our chronograph up. So hopefully we can get that impact velocity. And we'll see what this XTP can do. Here we go. All right, we're still back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. So our impact velocity on that was 1283, so that's not too bad at all, especially for that uh, heavier round. We have our cotton t-shirt sitting here on the ground, and it looks like we got a pretty good shot so far. So let's check out that entry. We do have a leaker, so it well, looks like, sounds like quite a few, so definitely made it through at least to that first jug. But there is that entry hole. Looks like a pretty good star pattern on that. Let's check it out from the side. Check that out, that's awesome looking. So it looks like about quarter inch in, started expanding. Do have quite a few fragments in there. But that is a pretty big stretch cavity all the way through. Let's see how far we went. So it looks like it made it into that second jug. So it made it into the second one that was laying sideways that doesn't look like it came out. So we definitely caught it. So let's see if we can get a good measurement. Let's see how wide that cavity is. So on this one, we are right at two and a half inches. So that's pretty good, about standard on what we're getting lately. And unless it is a lighter, faster load, we're getting just over three inches. So not too bad at all. And you can see a couple of those uh, fragments kind of shooting off. Pretty nice though. So what we'll do is we'll lay this block flat so hopefully we can get a a little bit better idea what that cavity looks like and we'll pull this around and see what that looks like too all right so before i show that round i'll show that cavity one more time it is this one right here on the left side but that is a pretty nice looking wound channel right there you can see those uh fragments down in there sorry we don't have the best lighting today it's pretty overcast but looks like as soon as it came in you can kind of see where it started to parachute open Got a pretty nasty wound channel. That was pretty high velocity too for uh, that heavier round. I think it's rated at 1225. We got 1283 out of that full size four and a half inch barrel. So not too bad at all. It's looking pretty good. So let's check that round out. All right, check that out. Looks like we got some perfect expansion on that. Looking really good. And we got quite a bit of penetration too. We made it to that second jug. So it's really nice. We do have a little, uh, fragment right there from that lead but that one got some awesome expansion super uniform picture perfect peel those petals right back perfect mushroom on that i think that'd be a good hunting round if you ever use it for something like that like i always say i'd like to go javelina hunting and that would probably be a pretty good one to choose lots of penetration and still got a uh, quite a bit of mushrooming on it so it's looking really good so there we go. That one was the 147 grain Hornady Custom XTP. All right, so there's that cross section for that XTP. I already cut it, so the splits right there aren't the actual splits, but all the rest are. But doing quite a bit of damage in the hair. Some nice deep cuts. And that thing was actually moving pretty good, especially for uh, how heavy it was. So let's cut it open. All right, and here's the inside. Looks like as soon as it hit, it started opening up. Nice deep cut down in there. Doing all kinds of damage. Got quite a bit of cotton t-shirt that got drug in. 
and some pretty deep cuts. So it's looking really good. Same thing on this top section. You can see where it started to parachute open, dragging in all kinds of fabric. And cut way down in there. Like I said, that one was moving pretty good, almost 1300 feet per second for a 147 grain, so it's pretty good. But there we go, there was that 357 SIG XTP.